Hey guys, it's me, Daily Smile, your friendly neighborhood dental student. So here's a scenario. Um, you finally decided to go to the dentist and your dentist have observed your teeth, clinical examination, and he tells you that Mr. So-and-so, you need to get scaling done. So you may know a thing or two about scaling now, since if you have watched my previous video about what scaling is, or if you probably researched about scaling on the web or watched a whole bunch of YouTube video of dentists doing some scaling done to a patient's mouth, you probably done all that. You probably are somewhat knowledgeable, hopefully. If you aren't, that's perfectly fine. So your knowledge about scaling is one thing. Your body and your mind might be prepared, but when you're actually sitting on a chair and a dentist or a hygienist is preparing the equipment for the procedure, you may start to get a little bit anxious you know a little bit scared and then you might start to regret your decision on coming to the dentist to get your teeth checked out there's a famous question that a lot of patients tend to ask which is does it hurt now if this is your first time getting scaling done and if you ask me a question about does it hurt and you know I'll be honest with you it does Instead of saying painful or it hurts, I would say it's just uncomfortable because I feel like pain is like when you have something that you can't really like tolerate. But then if it's uncomfortable, it's like, all right, well, it's actually tolerable. You can like bear it. That's what I think. If I were to describe how scaling feels, it will be kind of like, don't quote me on this, but I think it kind of feels similar to as if, if you, with your fingertip, your fingertip, if you were to tap your teeth very fast not that I, I i recommend you do i feel like the feeling isn't necessarily the part that people get uncomfortable by but then i feel like it's the sound of the scaler that kind of scares or think oh my god this is painful to a lot of patients because the sound isn't the most pleasant harmony per se it has that the hair razor sound but with a mix with a very high pitch sound but after a minute or two later i think most patients tend to adapt to the sensation and the hearing i'll tell you when i guess like these uncomfortable feeling becomes a bit unbearable if you have read or if you've seen a video of a calculus or tartar removal procedure um tartar is a plot that has been hardened that just sticks to your teeth and then us as a dentist uses special tool like a scaler to remove those so now these tartar has been on your tooth for a while that means that it's been kind of pushing your gums away you know away from your actual tooth so once we remove that tartar there's gonna be a space where the tartar used to be now if your gums are inflamed from these tartar and if we were to scale those tartar off your teeth you're going to have pain more like a um, like a pinch very sharp pinching sensation that kind of pain second case that maybe you may feel pain from scaling is when your gums are receded too much it's the point that the roots are exposed and once these roots are exposed and you start to see some of these fraction or abrasion the fraction breaks your teeth from your own to by biting that's a fraction but there's also abrasion when you brush too hard and then you tend to shave up part of your teeth those i've seen a lot too so when you have cases like that and when we run our scaler around those area you may feel pain but from all the patients that i have done scaling on they told me at first that they're very scared but after a minute or two they seem to you know enjoy it a little bit you know like some even say it feels good some even say wow like i never felt my tooth being this smooth before this is another question that i get a lot after a scaling or any dental procedure for example um can i can i smoke can i smoke and so i'm not here to try to convince anyone that you should stop smoking right now because it's bad for your teeth because it is it is but know that it's hard to quit smoking if they can't wait a day i tell them to wait one hour before they start smoking because it does slow down the healing process of your gum so just be mindful i would always advise uh, please wait at least one to two days before having alcohol or smoking but if you are a smoker i say minimum one hour so overall as long as your teeth 
doesn't look like this. You getting scaling done is probably more uncomfortable than painful. And even if it is a painful, dentists or hygienists are very gentle about it. So that I think within like a couple of minutes of the procedure, you'll probably get used to it and you'll probably be okay with it. It's tolerable. So that's it for today. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, peace.